The sun follows the magnetic field. Of the, it sits in a vortex, a tight magnetic field. And, and the sun doesn't tilt, but its energy is, um, follows the magnetic field. It's a vortex that winds its way up. So imagine a spiral. So you're wider and gets smaller and smaller as it goes up to the center. Wide spiral as it comes back up to the center. That's the Earth's magnetic field. As it goes from south to north or vice versa, it's a magnetic phase shift. And it's all based on pressure. <coughs> One way to explain it, or to, to get the image in your head, would be to take a balloon and push down on it. And what happens when you push down on it, it bulges out, out south. That's the southern summer. Don't focus too much on the sun. But that's the magnetic field. Take your hand off, pops back up again. This is what it's doing over the year, popping in and out. It's not the sun, it's the magnetic field. The sun is a focal point in the, with the human, with animals and their eyes. Because we have the black pupils. Our black pupils are tuned to the black hole center. It's all frequency. So with the sun is in many places, but only seen in one. We only see it in our horizon. Everyone sees the sun on their own horizon. So if the sun's out here at this time of the year on that line, circle, then everyone will see it on that circle, but it'll be in, in his horizon. Then it'll wind, it winds back in, doesn't it? So that's one way of imagining it, visualizing it. <laughs> so over the year, so we're, so we're at the equinox, We've got, it's not going anywhere. These are the two thieves. Both sides of Christ, because Christ is the sun, right? With seasonal changes, these are the two thieves. They take it off them, go down that way, or up that way, one of the two. So imagine if it's going down that way, it's shining out further out south. It's the southern summer. I shouldn't say shining, shining. It's all it's all the earth frequencies in the in the firmament. The moisture filled firmament of layers, it's like a rainbow, but you can't see the colours. They all make up the white light that sits on the top, which is the Christ. So the atmosphere above us in our arc of horizon has the layers. All different pressure zones and they all support different frequencies. They are layers the planets sit in. They're not millions and billions of miles away, they're not they're not far at all. But our horizon is only five K, isn't it? So you have to realise that the summer, the sun's doing a, a bigger circle. It's reflecting its energy further out south, further out here. But as it turns, it's, it's spiralling up. It's winding up to spiral. It spirals all the way back up to equilibrium. So it's obviously done a bigger track as it's pointed down that way because it's reflecting back out here. As it comes back up, it's coming back up the dome Imagine the dome. <laughs> it's not really a dome though. It's come up as a smaller circle. So it's right up there at the 23.5 degree elliptic. That's the northern, that's the northern summer. And it's just doing that smaller circle, isn't it? That's the smaller circle there. But what you need to do is take that off. Then you imagine what's going on. That's what that's what's going on. There's the snake. It's the, the caduceus, isn't it? Two snakes could represent that as well. It represents a few things. You've got this snake and the other snake. The up and the down. But in this situation, if you're up, you're going down the season. So you're wind, it's winding up. So it's all winding up. That's just because it's, it's going like this. It's winding all the way up. All the way up. And there it is. So you can bring it all the way back down to your snake shape but obviously every day it's going around and then you've got the other one that brings it all the way back up again or vice versa coming down that way I think coming down then goes back up there's this there's the December solstice way down there the southern summer the northern winter it's quite easy to understand really it's on the flat earth model, spinning boy. 
Don't even bother trying to mention what they're bloody on about. And there's the other one. That crossing is only, only due to the fact that the season's coming back up again. It crosses over that line, just doing, repeating the same thing. But going around the full, the full cycle. Understand? Quite easy. That's the sun's analemma. Very easy. Pretty hard to explain on a spinning ball flying through La La Land. But on the stationary flat earth, easy as. When you understand that the sun is spiralling up over the season, it's a, over the year, sorry. It's the yearly spiral of, of the magnetic field that the sun follows. And guess what? The, sun, the moon does. Every month. The same thing. But it's every month. It moves from where we see it, that is, back in here. It's actually going into the sun. In reality, the moon goes into the sun, every new moon, and comes out. But anyway, we see it out here. And uh, it's, it's doing this figure every month. It moves from the Tropic of Can Cancer out to the Tropic of Capricorn. And plus five degrees, they say. Back in, and it's and it, and this is like this is the pyramid here. It's this pyramid idea. It's spiraling all the way around out there. These represent planets through here, the five planets, and the moon spirals over them. Out. So you got you got uh, Saturn out here. Saturn. What's Saturn known for? Saturn known is known to be cold and cold and dry or something. Well, what is the moon? By the time the moon gets down here, it's full. It's cold. Cold as. It's the cold side. If you follow my videos, you realise that is the cold, that's the back of the sun. Full moon is the back of the sun. It's behind the sun. You'll see the sun. We'll see it this way in daytime. Full moon is behind the sun. Sun here is behind. New moon is in front of the sun. That's why you don't see it. It's dissolved. It only forms its skin as it moves away from the sun. So you have to look at my other videos for that. Got all the right diagrams for you. Uh, so the moon's spiraling, spiraling around, out, and spirals back in. Everything out here is a projection. We don't. Everything we see is a projection. It's all hidden in here, hidden in the centre. The hollow of the actual donut. We're in the physical part of the donut. The hollow part, circle in the middle. That's non-physical. Donut's physical. Everything comes from that. You have to understand that the moon's coming down over them, past them each month. And they're fixed on their tracks. It's actually represented by the fluted columns in Greek times and Egyptian. Because we're inverted to the physical world. I mean... Our physical world is inverted to the non-physical. So you put that inside out, spin it round, you've got fluted grooves like this, where the planets follow. They follow that fluted groove and stay there. So it's inside out and right angles, isn't it, basically? <laughs> because we see, and we see in the centre of our flat earth, that's, that's, the, that's the Milky Way, sitting vertical in the centre of the flat earth with the sun in it. But we see it out horizontally, don't we? Now, you've got to get your head around thinking about that one. But when you start realising the shape of the Earth, the centre vortex, parabolic reflections, concave, moisture firmaments, it all adds up. It's right through my videos. Check them out. That's what's happening. Science is total bullshit when it comes to celestial physics, when it comes to physics.